Good afternoon, everybody. So today we're gonna start it to build a basic shape of the helmet, like this one. But before we start, I like you to um, go to our week ten lecture page on D2L. Look at under day two. There's a section called Image Plan Download right here that one so you need to download these two images on your computer okay so now after you download it I save it somewhere you will need to copy these two images copy and um, go to your project directory that you create from last section under source images and just paste it inside there it need to be there all the time this is my project directory because if you remember last time we did the introduction okay I save it in there under scene so now on the uh, this is what we're gonna build okay let me show it to you we're gonna make it a little better than this we're gonna create a thickness on the inside too this one doesn't have yet okay so first of all we already have the project from last section so we don't need to create a new project we just go to set project and you navigate to wherever you save it mine's here so I just have to highlight um, if I double click on my week 10 project that I created and if somehow you select some of the subfolder you need to go back up because if you click set it will set inside that folder which is incorrect we need to set it to this folder here we go and it will look for all of these sub menu once again if somehow you do it like this by accident after you double click the main project directory and then you highlight a subfolder when I click set it will get this message so if you get all of these messages like this it means you did it wrong so you have to cancel it do it again set project just double click without select if you select you have to go up one level and just select again you don't have to double click on it you can just highlight it on it if you if you are sure that this is your project directory and just click set here we go now if I go to file open I will see my old scene from last section I'm not going to save that so this is what we did last section right so I'm gonna clear the screen I'm gonna call new okay and you're gonna create a new file right away you can just go save save uh, save scene as you have to choose save scene as with an empty file somehow Maya doesn't like when you do a uh, save scene when you have an empty scene because sometime it depends on the recent project here whatever is on the top Maya will save it inside there so sometimes if you switch in between you might get confused and you might save into a different project so at this point because of the empty scene just save scene as and we're gonna call a basic helmet okay. and I'm gonna put 2020 you don't have to name like me like mine just name something save okay now we're gonna load up our image plan to use before we load it up uh, let me explain a little bit about how I create the image plan so this is how I did it I actually draw this using pen and um, convert it to pixel 
and um, you can use any application you can scan your drawing it's up to you but you need to match now this is a really less complex shape so I have only three lines to match on the top on the bottom and then the open on the forehead that's it so I use square so that they all the same size and then I just cut them copy only one side and then save as and so on until I got the uh, um, the image plan that we downloaded okay so and um, now let's minimize this perspective all right so now we're gonna put the image plan into a font and side view so that we can use that as a tracing and referencing for modeling but before we get to that I like to uh, show you a little bit of how I make the image plan let's see here we go so this is what I did so I actually um, this is a I use illustrator and um, but um, at the moment I don't have illustrator in my system my computer so I have to use Photoshop to explain it so after you draw you kind of uh, use the ruler and guide to match so basically you matching a uh, um, the the major shape like the height and the bottom the uh, separation on the forehead and so on and um, make sure they are in one single uh, is same size so that's why I choose square because it's easy to figure it out and then I cut each image and save in diff uh, separate file that's what I did that's it so in um <clears throat> make sure you save your uh, images inside source images folder otherwise Maya will not know where to find it okay so once again you have to set up the project and I already set it to this project week 10 for us but if you don't have it from last section you could just go to project window create a new one name it and save wherever you want it to save click accept okay so now we already saved this file as a, uh, a basic helmet 202001 so go to font view under view menu of font view you're gonna look for a uh, image plan choose import image and now Maya know exactly where to find it so it's actually just look for a slash source images folder but this is a full path of your project directory so I'm gonna pick font view open here we go so let me turn on a um, grid for on perspective for a bit okay so we're gonna change the size but before we do that let's import the site view first let's switch to selection 2 once again shortcut for selection 2 if I move my cursor over it can you see Q selection 2 and move to W E rotate and R scale okay so use those shortcut make things faster I'm gonna dolly in a little bit so now once again when you dolly in just hold alt key with right mouse button okay and to track alt key keep staying with alt key and then just middle mouse tracking middle mouse drag left and right top and bottom with left mouse though you tumble it okay so right mouse button you dolly make sure you keep holding alt here we go so go back to a side view I click on the view when you click on the view you deselect any selection any selected object so view menu image plane on site view import and choose helmet side open here we go so now if you look at it on perspective view let's maximize the view just tap spacebar here we go 
Okay. So now we see that um, they all match really perfectly, actually. So now let's increase the size. So um, if you reselect it, you will get to add to build two section, uh, translate node and shape node. Under shape node, width and height, right there. So I'm going to highlight both. Uh, number rig field. I'm gonna type 20. So make it a little bigger. Same thing as when I select that the uh, font one. We're gonna do 20 also. Here we go. The next thing we're gonna move them on the back and on far side outside of the grid basically because we want to build the object inside there. If you don't move this the uh, image plane will interfere your model like for example let's create a sphere quick here we go can you see it's really troublesome there so so grab the uh, just use selection to grab it and then turn on move to and for the uh, uh, font view font image plane just move it far back just outside of the grid basically Grab that, move into one direction, do not move up and down, just only on the side and back, okay? So we want to maintain, and this is where the shape is, would be. So on perspective view, I'm going to disable grid right there, okay? And under show menus contain a lot of things that you can filter out, not to make it displayed right here, okay? All right. Now, one more thing. When we do polygonal modeling in Maya software, we better to be able to identify how much, how many components we select or uh, how many objects we select, stuff like that. So Maya has, let me maximize, uh, mi uh, min minimize this view, tap space bar. Under display menu, choose a uh, heads up display heads up display and look for poly count enable it and you will see this okay so make sure you create one sphere so that we can see what it is let's go to perspective view quick I'm gonna grab the sphere and under poly sphere radius these are shell um, channel box and the input tab I'm gonna middle mouse drag I highlight the label, radius, and middle mouse button, click on the screen like this, and I can change the size. Here we go. Now, the scale of geometry does not a res oh, sorry, the scale of the geometry is not the resolution of 3D object. The resolution is the number of the component, such as, right here, triangle, face, Edge and vertices. So verts is a short name for vertices. It's plural. Uh, vertex is single, and UV. So right now we have triangle. Seven sixty. So that's how poly count is. Count as a triangle, not just only the face, but the triangle. Okay. So this is pretty light in my yard you can have like a uh, 100,000 it won't really slow down the system however if you use your laptop and especially if your laptop using a uh, shared graphic card not in the not dedicated graphic card uh, shares mean it's use the memory uh, from the uh, the the uh, motherboard memory which is the uh, mem stick Dedicate is use the memory of it owns graphic card. So uh, and those will bring up the cost of the system up a little bit or even more. Okay, so now let's take a look at this quick. So for disease right now, the first column is the uh, category of the component. Second column is the total of resolution inside this scene now we have only one object that's why they are identical 
let's create a uh, how about another sphere now turn on move to is move it aside it's just inside if you don't see it press 4 4 on your keyboard is wireframe mode smooth and shade all is number 5 it doesn't show it here but it is number 5 now wireframe on shaded is alt plus 5 that's what we want it to use in the future soon okay I'm gonna press 5 now it's wireframe alt 5 is wire, uh, smooth and shared all wireframe on shaded now the shortcut it correspond to here wireframe on shaded wireframe smooth and shared all you can use this button buttons so wireframe smooth and shared all and wireframe on shaded so we actually want wireframe on shared with shading on okay because it's easy to see the uh, wireframe so now if I select the big one again you will see the third column show only the selection only on the selected object component now this is the selection of the component right now we are not select the component at all so now let's test if you right click over it you choose vertex just drag regions like drag marquee drag like this and let go now it show 95 vertices selected and then you can move them around and such undo now right click and choose face if I region drag so now tell us that there are 21 faces but 42 triangle triangle you don't see it is basically is the line that split because by default how to read the OpenGL on the uh, game engine or any application is actually subdivided or called tessellation into triangle and read it however when we do modeling though we don't really want to model triangle we want to model quad quad is four corner triangle is three corner okay so now if I gonna de demo that's a little better let me go to display polygon and show triangle so it just hold on vertex tensions where is the border Chris as a face triangle sorry I here we go and those are the invis invisible uh, triangle phases it's always has it but normally it will not show it will be inside there so I'm gonna go back to display polygon and uncheck toggle of face triangle here we go so now you got that idea now now I'm gonna delete the small one we're gonna start it from this and then we can build it only one side and we can mirror it okay so now um, we can also use a uh, symmetrical to model this too maybe we are gonna use that for now so that is kind of um, keep synchronized with the technique in ZBrush okay so we can actually build this object based on the sphere however this pole it does not look good so in uh, with the good modeling technique you will avoiding a triangle as much as you can because it affect the deformation however those are a most concern for animation for modeling for a uh, illustration or for visualization not much to concern about that however we're gonna make it more a uh, quad look so I'm gonna delete this file but uh, no this object we're gonna start off with a cube I'm gonna make the cube a little bigger so now width and height and depth all same I'm gonna do 10 how about that just change to 10 Let me go look at on site view so before we do anything else we can add a subdivision on the surface so let's switch to selection tool so that we don't touch anything now 
if you move your cursor over the mass object, hold shift key, right mouse button, you will have access on these two. <coughs> now, it's similar in the way, let me switch back to object mode. If you move cursor over the object, you will get a marking menu of the uh, 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 command that are suitable for object mode, basically. Now, oop, I accidental, let control Z or undo. I'm going to have to undo. Here we go. You can do control Z to undo. So now if you right click on vertex, hold shift key again, right click, with the shift key with right click you will get a marking menu that concern only on vertices editing so let go all the keyboard and mouse right click and choose face now hold shift key and right click again now see the marking menu is slightly different <clears throat> excuse me so let go, right click and choose edge, shift minima, uh, shift and right click. See they are slightly different. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to object mode quick. Okay. So on object mode you hold shift right mouse click and choose look for smooth. It operation smooth. Right there, sorry smooth and select it it will look like this okay now error file another perform smooth mail file no item ignore that for this time okay so now right click and go to object mode at this point switch to selection to look at on the channel box if you don't see it right here this button channel box here we go you can also look at on this tab here we go and under shape node poly smooth phase one expand it what poly smooth does is it subdivide the object and soften it now there's a different type of option this uh, exponential and linear we're gonna just leave it as expon exponential and um, there's too many to uh, explain I'm gonna skip it because um, I don't think it's necess the necessity so now division though let's highlight you can type it in let me try how about two two is mean two time of whatever the division that has so right now if the triangle let's do face is shorter face is 69 so uh, let me go back to one can you see 24 and then we sub two divide uh, two time 20 uh, two time each face there so it's mean if you divide it can you look at how, how about this let me turn off the uh, uh, continuity to zero and hold on no 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 never mind so let me go back so now you look at that face it will divide it into two lines so it's mean two one line here second line there so it will become four faces so that's four time uh, 24 basically so two look like this this is what we want you want this shape now however it's not exactly rounded we can use some technique to make it more round under deformer there's a um, sculpt deformer there click on it now it's inside can you press 4 here we go now I like you to turn on scale 2 here we go oh, sorry scale 2 or R scale uniformly until it hit 
to the edge. So now can you see when you do that, it's forces it to be more circular or more spherical. Here we go. And now it's more round then. Okay. So when you just reselect the geometry, we don't want to make it too much segment yet. Let me try three. Three is a little too much. We're going to do that later though. Not now. Right now, we're going to move it back to a uh, 2. Because less geometry, less manipulation. So at this point, let's save scene again. Here we go. And now, I'm going to save scene as, just in case something wrong, I can go back to the uh, original. Save scene as, and I'm going to put, uh, these are not a major one, so I'm going to put 2, uh, Two. Here we go. Save. Now, time to delete history. You have to delete history. We can't keep keeping this and that. It causes problem if you keep it for long, especially when long stack. So I'm gonna select that. Edit. Delete by type. History. Here we go. So now nice and clean. And you can rename them if you want to, but um. Let's rename helmet mash. Here we go. I call mash a polygon. How about just helmet polygon? Polygon. Here we go. Okay. So now I like you to double click on the move to right here. So under symmetry setting, we're going to turn on object X so that left and right okay left and right so now let's test see if it work so right now I'm gonna look at on my uh, font view let me see I want to change the direction of this this is I want it to be a little angle and straight line so I'm going to right click and choose vertex. Now I can grab these vertices like that. Can you see? Hold on. You can't really see it. Let me let go to object mode quick. Let's dim the uh, um, image plane. Select image plane and under a alpha gain, let's put it to point 2. Can you see a little dimmer? I could do point one five. Let's do point one. Let's dim it to point one under image gain. <coughs> Here we go. So that we can see the line. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I need a little water. Okay. So I'm gonna close that. Now, on a uh, font view and side view, I like you to turn on wireframe on shared it. So that we can see wireframe, all of them, even on the top view too. Here we go. Turn these, turn the uh, smooth and shade off first. Wireframe on shade. So, um, before we move, let's scale this a little bit. I'm gonna use a uniform scale by scaling in the middle. You just switch to scale two. I press R, scale it until it kind of match. <clears throat> okay. So now I'm going to actually, do you know, we could make it larger. S let's switch to wireframe quick and turn on move to. I'm going to press W key and try to match like this. Here we go. Scale a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Here we go. Move. And. I could offset a little bit forward. Here we go. Just that's it. This is on site view. All right. When we get to this point, now we can start it to work on molding. Okay. So now we're going to have to start it to reshape. We're going to cut the bottom away. So 
Let's do that. Go to phase and select phases on the bottom like that and delete it. Let's go take a look at on the front view and or perspective view. It should look like that at the moment. Okay. So I think we are good. And um, now let's focus on the side view. Let's try to light this up. So first thing I need, I need to go to vertex, right click and choose vertices. And I'm going to grab a bunch of stuff right there using scale to scale a little bit. Here we go. And I'm going to move this up right here. Okay. Now, I'd like you to do this. Let's straight this up. Select it. Turn on scale 2 and scale only on Y axis. Can you see it straight up? Same here. Straight it. Okay. And this way I'm going to scale uniformly to extend that. Here we go. It will look a little awkward. I think let's let's uh, soften this section a little bit by scale it down a little bit. Here we go. And this one. That's good enough. Okay. So I'm going to sw switch to 5 for a moment. So we're going to delete some of the face though. And um, let's go back to uh, font view because we got to fix the font view. So I'm going to scale just non-uniform. Scale only on X. That one's also. Here we go. Just try to get the shape similar. Here we go. And I feel like, here we go. And then uh, on the side view, going to have to move it down a little. Here we go. Okay, so now switch to a uh, wireframe. Turn on wireframe mode right here. We're going to get rid of some face. Right click and choose face. Now, if you have a difficulty to right click and choose face on the uh, wireframe mode, is that because it requires you to be on a line? Can you see? If I'm not on the line in between there, uh, because Maya couldn't see it, but if you press 5, you should be able to do it in the middle of it. Okay, so 4 again. So if it falls, you got to be on the line. Phase. Select these phases. There we go. And get rid of it. Delete. Just hit delete. It will look like this. So now we need to move this around a little bit. I'm going to grab that. Reshape. There we go. Reshape it. And we don't have enough segment right there. Okay, we will have to add more segment. Uh, let me show you something quick. Um, a concept of it. So now it should have segment like this. These are we talking about low segment. So now let's look at on the side on, on the font. The font will have to have one to similar in the way so we got to move the component around until we get those shape so I'm gonna leave these on for a moment okay now um, hold on you're gonna get forget oh you're gonna confuse let me delete that okay we, you got an idea already hold on okay so now we're gonna sculpt this this section we're gonna work more but not now. We're going to work more, but not now. I'm going to grab right here. Can you see? Press 5. So this is need to push inward a little bit. So same here. Word. Okay. And right here too. Oop. You might have to deselect. Zoom in. And um, oop. deselect right here. Sometimes it's really hard to select this point. Okay. Oh, is that the right one? I got confused. Okay. No, this is the one right here. Need to push inward. Okay. Because we try to scope, uh, try to form that shape, like that round is. Okay. And based on that, it will look like this at the moment. We're gonna have to grab the whole thing here like that and then push it out okay 
So look at on the side a little bit. That one need to come out also. Okay. And I think these should be like that. Here we go. So we don't have enough segment right there. <clears throat> Let's preview this smooth. Can you press three? Three is preview of smooth. So I think this is okay. Not perfect, but good enough. I think I should table the bottom down a little more right there. I'm going to grab two vertices and then push it in. So it looked like this. A little offset than the original, but that's okay for now. Okay. So I think that's good. Now, this section, I'm going to move up. Can you see? Because I want to create that. Press one back. No, hey guys, that's not good. Don't move it up. Undo it. Let's split this. Talk about splitting. We need more segment. Okay. So, if you hold shift key, right mouse click, and you choose multi-cut. The multi-cut is allow you to cut the splitting the surface like this there you go when you finish press enter undo now we don't want to split a single surface we want it to create a loop so if you hold control key can you see and you move your cursor over existing edge see that there we go so now I want you to use this edge right here and click to insert and let go of the mouse and the keyboard will look like this can you undo I want you to be able to control a little more so undo and control key I want you to place it right here on the side view and go ahead sculpt this here we go and look like this at the moment I'm gonna spread this up a little bit can you press 3 to see the preview so the preview is kind of good. That's good enough. Now we need to fix this section just a bit right there. Okay. So this is a little too wide. Press one back. Here we go. Can you see? So I'm going to grab this section and squish it in on the top view. Here we go. A little off. That's okay. No big deal. I'm going to select the whole row there. Turn on scale two and then scale to the side like this. Here we go. Okay, and grab on top view right here. Move it. Okay, switch to five to see how it look. I want that to curve down even more. So it's mean. Oh, hold on. I gotta fix this part first, right there. Scale it down a little bit. Okay, and I think this is the one that caused that. Turn on move to and just move. Here we go. See the flow of the line? We want to check the flow of the line right there. One can be a little more taper. This can be a little. Here we go. And that can go out. Actually, okay. So now we need to, let's switch to four. Need to come down here though. So I think we need to move these a further um oh by the way because of my drawing i just drawing from uh um i didn't draw from the reference so i think this is uh too far it has to be closer in order to get that shape so in this case we're going to modify a little bit uh before you move on let's split hold on let's move it i'm gonna change that direction here move it and then we're gonna add more section there um, the reason is because I want to move this a little closer here we go it's just because this is incorrect it has to be further so we're gonna do offset okay let's split shift right mouse click and choose multi cut and cut middle mouse click to split in the center and then grab that move up these are good 
I wanted to straighten this. This is fine. Check on the side view. Here we go. It's a little taper. So you reach and drag like this and scale. I just try to make it brow shape. These can be get inward a little bit. That is the bottom one. I could see it. Actually, let me move only that one first. Here we go. Once again, uh, it's going to be a little off from the drawing, which is okay. It's, my drawing is not good. There we go. Okay. All right. And I wanted to have a little more curve in there. So I think we need these to come down even more like that. Okay. I'm gonna spread this apart a little bit because it doesn't look good. We're gonna spread it. This one can go down a little more. Here we go. And see if we can push this invert a little bit. I'm gonna grab all of this plus that point. Push inward. Here we go. <coughs> I think this is too wide. Okay. That one too. Okay. See, I moved that line. So I think this is good enough. And um, oh, like look at this section. I think it's not squished too much. Here we go. I think it's on the size a little this one is too narrow can you see I try to look at on the shape of the helmet like that okay I think this is good enough all right so go to object mode now I think we good save your file okay so now we're gonna add more smooth before we extrude it. So shift, right mouse click, shoot smooth. Here we go. So now it's look kind of like that. Okay. Now we're gonna add a thickness. Go to object mode, select, and we already have smooth there. Let's delete history. Edit, delete by type history. Now these volumes, this is not good volumes. Let's freeze them. Modify, freeze it. Because sometimes when we duplicate or scale or mirroring, it might cause some problem. So we get to make it a little more better. And now go to uh, shift right mouse click and extrude. Now move the blue arrow upward just a bit. So last time we, uh, let's do point three. Here we go. Point three. Okay. Now, how can we create a kind of border, bevel border? So this is what we're going to do. You're going to select like this. Select the face. Using selection tool, don't use move tool. Hold shift, double click. The next face will select the whole loop. If it doesn't select the whole loop, so it means you have some problem. Um, and if you have that problem, we need to fix them. So um, you could undo, go back to the step as I have. And if you can't fix, uh, email me and send the file and do screen capture to me. Okay. Um, now go ahead, uh, shift right mouse click and extrude one more time. Now extrude, grab the uh, blue color. I'm going to extrude just a little bit. I just want that border right see that border okay that's all what I want now select this face on that outer border hold shift double click again on the next face extrude one more time shift right mouse click extrude and now push outward just a bit here we go because we want it to have a little kind of a smooth border there so it look like this here we go look like that now can you press 3 to see it preview will look like this okay 
I don't like it. Press 1. Let's bevel this. We're going to make the uh, little more curve. Double click on that edge loop. Just double click on it. Sorry. Double click on it. Shift right mouse click and choose bevel edges. Make sure you're on edge. Once again, let me select that. Undo quick. Uh, right click and choose edge. And double click on that edge loop. If I press 4, can you see it's loop around? Okay. Press 5. Shift right mouse click and choose bevel edges. So right now you will get that bevel segment is only one. We just leave it only one for now. Now the fraction is the gap. Let's do a little less, 0.25 halfway because we want it to bevel on this section. Hey guys, let's do 0.3. Here we go. So now do another one on this section. Double click on it. Shift on edge, bevel. Do the same, 0.3. Here we go. And this one also, shift right mouse click, bevel, and 0.3. There we go. Now, go to object mode. Let's find out. Press 3. See how it looks. That looks a little better. Right? If you wanted to make it a little more pronounced, you could add more. Uh, you could make that... Um, just undo and go back and make it larger. Now, how can I make these a little more sharper on that edge? I mean, you may like this though. But if you want it to be sharp, press 1 back. Select, press 1. Okay. You need to insert a loop here or you could just right click, choose edge there. You can also insert a loop if you like. But I'm going to bevel that instead here we go and I'm gonna do point three also and let's press three now can you see a little sharper okay you can turn on a uh, wireframe on shaded look like this so these are preview press one back so and now what about this section? What if I want it to be more curved? I almost forget about that. Uh, let me press 3. Actually, 3 is fine, so no, don't do it. Uh-oh. 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 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What's going on there? Right there. That's the problem. It doesn't go around. See, that's the problem. Now, to fix this problem, it's not too difficult. If it's not going around, you will have to do it. Right here. Double click on that. Because I forgot to double click. Undo it. Sorry. Undo until it's go back. Here we go. Now, select that. Somehow it doesn't go to the whole loop. I forgot to check. Switch to three, 4, this is Y. Okay. So now we shouldn't have any problem. Bevel. Here we go. And point 3. Now, look like this. Press 3. Here we go. Now it's nice and clean. Okay. So, now, we can stop at the moment on this section, okay? Because we're gonna continue to rework and reform this shape. We're gonna add more stuff on it, okay? So we got the base already. This is good. We're gonna continue. We're gonna add a visor and so on. Maybe a little cap there, okay? So right now, save. Guys, so I like you to do a screen cap on this and pause it on uh, D2L. So we're gonna have a several motion uh, version. So turn on wireframe on shared it so that I can see and press one. 
go to the low division I want to see low division and I'm gonna zoom in a little so you are gonna screen cap a few images so font side back and um, perspective so now press 5 okay so can you do like this and use a snipping tool so you just if you don't know where just go to the uh, uh, type in right right here just type oh sorry type snipping tool okay and you should be able to get this okay so click new and I'm gonna grab only this area that's it and you're gonna save this as a JPEG make sure you choose JPEG and I'm gonna put inside my folder I'm gonna put inside image and I'm gonna call a uh, helmet basic helmet basic helmet chair okay. and you're gonna post that in D2L okay 